chilly in the mornings this mid-August. That hint of fall is almost in the air, which is really sad for me. I know everyone loves fall, but I get really sad during fall because everything is dying and <laughs> it's cold. And in the morning now, you can start to kind of feel it. So that's why I wasn't sure if I wanted a hot coffee or an ice, but the tropical coconut over ice Nespresso pods so good. I was not planning on vlogging today, but I vlogged all day yesterday and I think it put me into this filming mood because I woke up today and I was like, I want to daily vlog. I want to remember life at this time and it's so easy for me to look back sometimes and watch old vlogs or I'll watch vlogs from when I lived in my apartment and my routine there and my life and I don't know, I get very nostalgic. I know someday I'm gonna look back on this and romanticize it a ton. But today is Wednesday, August 18th, 17th, August 17th. My dad and my brother are actually coming over because there are a few home improvement things that I do need some extra hands with and some help. I also got a huge delivery of salt yesterday for my water softener and I unfortunately wasn't home. So I told them to leave it on the front steps, but it's 120 pounds and I cannot carry that down to my basement and I cannot lift it to put into the water softener. So I'm gonna have them help me do that and get it off of my front steps. And then I low key also want to put my pink couch that's in the basement upstairs in the office. So big day. But speaking of like cold, chilly fall mornings, I'm back to sweatpants and sweatshirts in the mornings instead of a tank and shorts. This really fun, hippy dippy tie dye curl neck sweatshirt is from Earthbound Trading Post. White sweatpants are Bennett's. She got them from Zara. These fun little tie dye slippers are also from Earthbound Trading Post. And I love them. Okay. Let's get the day started.
and watered, the dishes are put away, everything feels clean and fresh, and my dad and brother are on their way, so the day is looking up. I even cleaned out the basement. I guess I could show you that. And then if you watched my other recent vlog, I did a brand deal with this jewelry company. This video is not sponsored, but this necklace is from In Route Jewelry. It's a little rose quartz mushroom, so cute. And then there are little gold mushrooms right there. And there's another one somewhere. Oh, up here, little gold mushroom. The earrings behind the AirPods are also from In Route Jewelry. And this beautiful butterfly ring. Like I said, the video is not sponsored, but I have been wearing their jewelry every single day since I got their package. I really do love it. And this ring will be a staple. Like I mentioned, they're coming to help carry my couch upstairs for me. So I tried to move some of this beaded doorway out of the way. And then I vacuumed down here as well. Cause let's be honest, my basement gets a little dirty since I'm never down here, but it's freshly vacuumed. A few months ago, my friend Bennett was here and she took a lot of the furniture that was here since she moved into a new place. But this is the iconic first apartment pink couch that has just been sitting down here collecting dust. I'm sure the cats have been using it. The cats love to come down here and watch squirrels, rabbits, birds, anything. But I wanna bring this up to my office. It will definitely get more use upstairs in my office. And it would be nice to be able to sit in a couch and still be in like a work zone. Cause when I'm in my office, like mentally I am at work. I feel like I mentioned this as well, but sometimes when people are here and I'm in my office and they're talking to me, like I want them to have seating options. So office is a little bit un under construction right now, but the couch is gonna go right there. We'll see where that ends up going. I have all the pillows from it. I need to work on this area a little bit, but yeah, big exciting stuff. And then my dad is also going to help me. So I used to have a little shelf. It's that on the ground. It used to be right there. I'm moving it over to about there so I can make room for a cat tree. And that's my living room, but it's a beautiful day. Look at that, stunning. The weather really turned around, which made me so happy. I am probably going to edit a little bit, respond to some emails until my dad and brother get here. And then the fun really begins. <laughs> The shelf is officially moved over. I really love it. I also floofed up the philodendron a bit more and have it vining up. It's gonna look so like carnivorous eventually and viney. And now I have this beautiful space for a large cat tree. My dad and brother, as you saw in that small clip, also helped me move my pink couch upstairs to the office. I'm very excited about it. I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot more time in the office now. Ta-da! It's just like the apartment days. <coughs> oh, and I still have to clean it. <coughs> because the cat hair and dust is really getting to me. I am allergic to everything low key. <coughs> I'm gonna die in here. <coughs> How did I used to do this? I think I did that with that like that. I also brought this up from storage. I used to have this back in 2016 when I got it from VidCon and it was in my bedroom at my parents' place. But I figured it deserved a spot in the office for sure. Perfect. I think it looks super cute and cozy and definitely gives more of like a workspace vibe, but there's still so much I have to hide in here. Eventually my 100k plaque will go up there as well. But yeah, this is it already so much better I do have to get like a blanket up here to cover up the wine stain I'll probably wash the pillows too, but for a day's work. It was great. I feel so productive I'm so glad I got that done with and the living room looks fantastic once again at 6 p.m I'm heading to Ashton's for the night, so I have to shower and get ready I also would like to edit some more. I'd say it was a pretty successful work day Also, I finished my book girls can kiss now absolutely loved it it, DM'd the author on Instagram and now I'm fangirling over her. So fantastic. Everyone definitely needs to read that book. One last thing before I leave. I love how my room looks during sunset because this little beam of golden hour is going to travel through my room and it just looks so pretty and fall like. Oh, I love it. next day I just got back from Ashton's hence why I'm wearing the same thing on my way back today I stopped at patina because I needed a new ceramic colander 
well, not even new because I didn't have one before, but I've been eyeing a couple and today I just felt it in my soul that I had to go get, pick this up. I think this was $9. So not bad at all. It's a really, really light dusty pink that almost looks white, but yeah, super cute. And of course you can't go into patina for one thing. So we're gonna do a quick haul. They got me good today. I avoid going into patina because I know I'm going to spend a lot of money. I think I've gone like twice within the last year because of that. But today was just one of those days where everything that I found seemed to have a purpose and that's when it's hard to resist because it's not just decor. It's like, oh, that has a purpose. I kind of need it. I don't, but I do, you know? Starting with the biggest item I got, this mint green bowl for the kitchen. It kind of reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. This was $36, but how cute are oranges and lemons and like potatoes gonna look against this color contrast? I really want my kitchen to look more homey and like cooked in as well, if that makes sense. Like whenever I go grocery shopping and I have a ton of fresh vegetables and fruit out on the counter, it just makes this house feel more like a home. Speaking of trying to make my kitchen look more homey and like lived in, I have been thinking about getting these next two things for a while for this house and I finally found the perfect ones. Two candlestick holders, except these have little dried flowers in them and then this one has a dried rose. So cute, these are going on my dining room table. I want to start hosting more now that I have the space. I've always loved hosting. I just feel like I've never had the friends to do so. And I feel like I'm pretty far from where most of my friends live, but I really wanna host like dinner gatherings and stuff. So to be able to have, like they're so cute. I'm just so excited to put these out. Of course, you cannot get candlestick holders for a dining room table without the candlesticks. So I picked up these light orange, peach, corally color twisted candlesticks, super cute. Figured the orange color with this, adorable. It's gonna look so cute. This is for my bathroom, but my jewelry dish is getting a little too full up there. So I liked this one because it has different sections. So I can put rings, earrings, necklaces, anklets, all of that. I don't like that it looks like a peace sign, but I feel like if I tilt it the right way and fill it with things, it won't really look so much like a peace sign. But that is for the bathroom. I got this adorable clay pot with a face on it. I'm always in the need for new plant pots. And this one just, it matches the vibe. So I'm sure it will be used many many times i got this really cute little tray with a painted pressed like branch on it i want to bring in more green into my kitchen colors like green plant life -y, as you can tell by the pieces i've showed you i also got a very similar tray i'm sure this will go in a bathroom or my dresser of some sort always in the need for little jewelry trays a lot of uses for that. This was on sale, so it was only like $7, but I got this little Zen Buddha garden. Comes with two little candles as well. My brother is going to freak out because he's super into Zen gardens right now and he wants one so badly, so he's gonna love this. The last thing at Patina was kind of like a, a splurge. I didn't really need it, but I've been eyeing it for over a year now, so I felt like I finally should just buy it because I know I appreciate it. And I got this 1,000 piece butterfly puzzle I just love the container that it's in and as you know I love butterflies so this will be really fun I definitely get more of like a cozy want to stay home introverted personality when it gets colder out so I know in this fall and winter it's gonna be really fun to snuggle up and put on a movie and solve a puzzle I cannot wait. Tatina had a lot of large vases that I really wanted to purchase, but they were like 40 bucks and I could not justify doing that when I knew that Goodwill probably had, I just scared my cat, when Goodwill probably had so many for a couple dollars each. There is a very large Goodwill near my house that I had not yet been to since moving here. So I thought, why not check it out? And oh my God, I'm so glad it's so great. I used to have a really good Goodwill where my apartment was that I love to go to, but I've been putting off going to Goodwill out here because I knew that I would be spending money and purchasing little trinkets that I probably didn't need. But today I was on a mission to find some glass vases for my kitchen. I'll tell you why in a second. So I checked out the Goodwill and it was amazing. I'm so glad I live near a really good, large Goodwill. I'll start with the biggest vase I could find that I'm 
so grateful I found. So I collect wine corks. I write the date and event with a Sharpie on every single cork. And then they all go into a different jar um, that symbolize like a certain time in my life. So I'm gonna put this above my kitchen cabinets and it will someday be filled with all of the corks of adventures to come basically. I'm super excited about this find because I found another similar glass jar with this cork cover. I don't have a dedicated jar yet for my partner Ashton and I's cork, so I'm gonna put all of the wine bottle corks that we've shared in here and fill it up and put this in my kitchen. I'm really happy about that find. And again, these were what? four dollars like patina could never i also found these funky glass jars originally from ikea at goodwill for 4.99 i thought they would be perfect for propagating little plants on a shelf like they're slanted they are so cute so i'm definitely going to use these for propagation i cannot believe this next find it was five dollars at my goodwill it's the ceramic vase this definitely matches my decor style and patina had so many similar ones for like 20 to 30 dollars so i I'm so glad I found this. Oh, okay. I could not resist having a little bit of fun at Goodwill because these were only 99 cents, but they feel like real crystal. I got two fancy little champagne flutes. They feel fancy and I love this old retro like 70s style right there. So I got two of these fancy little flutes. I really just want to improve my kitchen and make it look, I don't know, cozy and cooked and like homey, just all of that. I think I'm going to decorate for fall this year. Sometimes I get very, very Grinch-like around the holidays and I go through phases of like, I don't want to decorate because it's so dumb and it's just to keep us happy when we're locked up and it's cold out. So like last year for Christmas, I definitely did not decorate, but this year, I don't know, I might do the damn thing and I think I'm going to decorate at least for fall because I get really sad in fall time with everything transitioning from summer to fall and feeling like everything is dying and getting colder and gloomier. So I might have some fun and decorate. I figure it's kind of like an investment because I can use them for years to come so that's how I justified these purchases. I found this cute pumpkin from Goodwill. Really fun. Now that I'm in a house, I finally have front steps and trick-or-treaters and areas to decorate that I didn't have to decorate in my apartment. So this is gonna go outside. And that's like the fun part about owning a house now is that like I can decorate it for seasons and I want to enjoy that. I got this little pumpkin. I figured just for the living room entryway, I could find a cute little shelf to dangle it off of. Oh, I'm really excited about this find. Could not resist. I know it's $15, so it's not even that much of like a deal, but just this little candy bowl. So behind my couch, I actually have a ceramic bowl that I always keep chocolates and little snacks in that friends and family always love to pick at. And I like having chocolates out and whatnot. I feel like a grandma saying that with like my candy jar, but I thought it'd be fun to just to swap it out with this one for the season. Now the last thing I bought, I could not resist because it was only $5 and I hope it fits me, but it's this little sundress, super cute. It's definitely like my style. I hope we have a few more warm days left where I can wear this sundress. It's literally like the same color as this shirt I'm wearing now. So originally tag on this does say Shein and I don't want to support Shein. However, because it's secondhand and thrifted, I figured it would be okay because I'm not putting my money towards Shein itself. I'm giving the fast fashion that Shein is a second chance to be worn instead of just thrown into a landfill. That is my justification for owning a Shein dress. <laughs> How cute! Anyway, that was my very spontaneous patina and Goodwill haul. Again, I just went in there for one thing and I came home with this. I'm excited to decorate my house. I think that's going to be all for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you are not already and follow my Instagram, kk 17 I'm gonna have fun decorating my space with all my new goodies and then start editing some vlogs. But I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Step one. Wake up, really gon' rise with the sun Step two, get some good, some food in you Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be